how you all doing? Today it's a wonderful Saturday. The sun's come out, it's, it's saying hello. Yesterday it pissed down all day, so the roads are still pretty wet. But we're off to uh, meet some of the guys and uh, just go on a chill ride. No plan, no idea what's going on, but should be a good day. Gonna send there. Decided to take the R3 out instead of the Supermoto today. I've been riding the Supermoto around since I got the the throttle cable fitted again. So I thought I'd take little Ursula out, treat her to a good old Saturday ride. Channel isn't dead yet. So the Duke 390 guy, as you know him, uh, as you know him by. He uh, shot me a message this morning saying do I want to go for a ride, so I was like, yeah, why not? Why not? I'm off this Saturday. So that's who we're meeting. We'll see who else turns up, I don't really know. We've got an ambulance. Hopefully today won't end with an ambulance. Fuck me, it stinks of egg. The fuck? Sweet. I like it. Nope, no idea. Let's do it. Right, we now have the G390, the CRF 125. I always got a CRF, CBF, CBF 125. Uh, we're meeting up with possibly a ZX, not a ZX, fuck's sake, a Z750 I think. Oh. First time I've had the Hero 4 on the uh, on the front and uh, not sure how I feel about it. Kind of shakes. I'm not feeling too confident with it. I'll leave it on there for a little bit. I've been here before, 110%. I just don't know. Yeah, because that's the train thingy. Oh. Was a me cop. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Hey, look at them. Someone's having a good weekend. It's a cute little area, isn't it? Can I turn ABS off on this bike? I don't know. So unfortunately this ain't gonna be a hooligan ride today. I save that for most of the supermoto stuff, but this is gonna be our chilled out Saturday, so I want you to chill back. However you're watching this on your phone, on your tablet, on your fucking I say tablet. I'm a fucking granddad. Um your TV, whatever, computer. Sit back, relax, get a snack. If you're on a diet, don't give a shit. Have some chocolate and uh, chill out for like 10 minutes, say. And just imagine you're outdoors with us riding. Because this is where you should be. You shouldn't be locked indoors watching my videos. You should be out here riding with me. Aye. Aye. There's one thing. I really want to travel to Wales. I want to go to Wales and enjoy some of their roads. And if I do, then I'm gonna shoot up Mr. Uh, Ryan's life ride in on his M207 and see if I can. Uh, don't kill me, please. Um, see if I can get him to come ride with me. He'd be down with that. He'd want to see me ride with uh, Ryan's life. Ryan's life ride in. Um, he actually does have a meetup today that I'm recording this, and I was very tempted to ride up there. But it was like a four hour trip and I was just like, eee, you know. Like, oh, this is pretty. Wow, look at this. That's a good little section of road. It's 30 miles an hour, very fun. And do you know what bike would absolutely destroy through here? That KTM LC640 that I rode. Mate, <laughs> that thing was a beast. You just, I'd just keep it in first gear, just come around here and just whoop, pop in the wheelie, whoop, pop the wheelie, whoop, pop the wheelie. Thank you, good sir. Go 
go, Mathanway. Right, here's a question for everyone watching. In the comments, I want you to let me know which bike you prefer. The R3, the Grom, or the AJP. Now, I don't want what bike you would ride, I want to know what bike you like to see videos on. Do you want to see more videos on the R3, the Grom, or the AJP? I'm curious, let me know. So, the rear sets he's actually got on the 390 right now, are actually the 390, uh, the actual rear sets that I sold him, I actually bought them for my Duke. Uh, I never put them on. And because all the 125, 200, and 390 Dukes fit, all the parts fit the same, so like the whole frame and that are pretty much the same, it's just the engine. So I sold them to him and now he's got them on there, and they do look so good. I don't know why, but I want to call Sam the Thamway today. That's, that's Sam's new nickname, I'm sorry Sam. I mean with Amway. Ready, ready, go. over there is actually Gandalf's long stick also known as the shong here in the uh, in the UK's so if you ever visit in the UK and you want to you want to go visit it type in the shong and uh, that will come up not even enough. Ah! Sam, I don't know why. Today, I just want to call you my fanway. I don't know why, but I want to call you my fanway. I don't know why. <coughs> so in today's video, the mission is to find the mythical dragon of Cheddar. Mystical monster that no one's ever seen apart from one person wrote a thousand pound novel all about it if you want to search that up again on the internet just type in cheesy knob and you'll find it there'll be all sorts it's a um, pretty hefty book I've read every single page of it now, don't get me wrong it's a good read but today is the mission to try and find this cheesy knob but these two guys have no idea about this dragon so unfortunately it's just gonna be a certain mission I'm not gonna tell them just because I want to see if I do find it if they believe in it because if you don't believe in the cheesy knob we can't be friends Good friend, the cyclist. Yeah, give it a little squeeze. So the mystical creature, the cheesy knob, tends to live out in the caves and high up on the Cheddar Gorge hills or mountains or whatever the fuck they are. Hills, no. So it's gonna be pretty hard to find him. But 
you have to let me know if down in the description while we drive through if you see it's in the flyover or something you'll have to let me know as i said there's only one other person in the whole world who's ever seen this cheesy knob he did get photos of it and as i said he wrote a book about it but today i will find him They say, if you eat the head of the cheesy knob, you will live for an extra year. I'm riding a bike. I need all the years I can get. Oh, new friend! Hey! Oh, friend! He's my friend! Oh, oh. Hey. Those are his minions, the cows. See, people always blame cows going missing on aliens and shit. Turn you. Your cows go missing, it's the cheesy knob. You have a cheesy knob in your area. Another one of his minions, which you've seen many of times in my videos, are the Cheddar Gorge goats. Those things are evil. They, they jump out of you and they try and kill you, like, you, don't, you just don't fuck with them. I pissed the Blair several times. Hello. Ah, oh, wonderful Cheddar Gorge. The sun, the rocks, the bikes, the mad amount of tourists. Oh, it's fucking amazing. Dream on Earth. Nah, it actually is a really nice road and a really nice place to visit, but I come here a little bit too much. Mm. Me gusta! How much do? Ah! Recording. <laughs> the fuck? I, I hit my clutch in as well, I was going da 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 and it just went like, nope. Oh, she was so scared. <laughs> Shit, it is busy. Damn. Really? That's nice. 